Welcome to the CTTP training videos. HASHTO T310 In Place Density and Moisture Content of Soil and Soil Aggregate by Nuclear Methods Standardize the gauge before each day's use. Refer to CTTP's standard count video for more information. Locate the required test location. Prepare the test site by leveling and smoothing the surface using the scraper plate. Remove any loose material. Fill any voids larger than an eighth of an inch with native vines or fine sand. Do not fill more than 10% of the footprint of the gauge. The plate should sit level and flush with the soil surface. Step on the middle of the scraper plate and place the extraction tool over one of the risers. Insert the drill rod in the same riser and hammer it into the ground at least two inches deeper than the desired test depth to protect the source rod. The test depth should equal the lift thickness when possible but should never exceed the lift thickness. Most drill rods have markings which can be used to determine the depth of the hole and include the extra two inches for source rod protection. While standing on the plate, pull up the extraction tool using a twisting motion to remove the drill rod. Before moving the scraper plate, a good method for marking the test hole is to outline the edges of the plate and mark the hole location. This step is optional. Move the scraper plate and other tools at least three feet from the test area. Align the gauge with the footprint. Place the source rod or front rod over the test hole and align it with the guide marks. Input the gauge parameters for time, depth, and the proctor value. Set the test time to one minute by pressing the time button. Use the up or down arrow keys to set the time. Press the yes button to store the selection. Set the depth to the test depth, which should be equal to the lift thickness, by pressing the depth button and using the up or down arrow key until the proper depth shows on the screen. Press the yes button to store. To set the proctor value, press the MAPR button. The active proctor value may be seen on the screen. If the value shown is incorrect, press the yes button to change it. When a number starts blinking on the screen, use the up or down arrow buttons to change the value. When correct, press the enter button. Continue changing values until each digit of the proctor value is correct. The gauge will return to the ready screen and is now ready for testing. Lower the source rod to the test depth by pulling back on the trigger and pressing down on the handle. The handle should click into an available position. Check the indicator on the guide rod just above the handle to make sure the source rod is set to the correct depth. Snug the gauge back against the hole toward the rear of the gauge so that the source rod will be in full contact with the soil. Press the start button to start the test. Move away from the gauge at least three feet. After completion of the test, safe the rod by pulling up until the rod is all the way up. Record the data results for wet density, dry density, percent moisture, percent compaction, and the location. Location includes station, offset, and elevation. Note any abnormalities found at the test site, such as large boulders, drainage structures, or anything else that may have affected the results. Use the up or down arrows to scroll through the data. WD is the wet density, DD is the dry density, and percent PR stands for percent of proctor or percent compaction. On the moisture screen, there are two moisture readings. The top one indicates the moisture content expressed as a unit weight, and the bottom one is expressed as a percentage. Most agencies require the percent value. Please visit our website at cttp.org for other training videos and modules.